Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about microgrid and a dynamic operation with uh, different MVPD. That means uh, this microgrid consists of uh, EV array and uh, battery storage and it is going to be connected to the grid. Okay. So this microgrid consists of PV system. Okay. So Normally, in order to extract the maximum power from the PV, so we, we will use MBPT algorithm. So, MBPT nothing but a maximum power point tracking algorithm. So, here we are going to vary that, that means we are going to use different MBPT method and we have to check the result of the microgrid. So, here we are going to use uh, P and O in PPT and then we have to use PSO and PS MBPT and then we have to use PSO sliding mode MBPT. So we are going to use 3 MBPT and then you have to compare the result of the 3 MBPT. And first of all, I am going to explain that the system. Okay, so this is a system uh, the PV array or PV plant, right? Uh, the total rating is around 1 megawatt. So here you can see that so this is a rating of the PV panel that means here you can see that the PV panel rating is 355 watts and then it have a 15 panel in series and uh, totally it having 190 parallel strings so when you click this plot right you can see the IV PV cut six of this solar PV system so here you will see that around it will be generated uh, 1.01 megawatt okay at uh, that peak power voltage around uh, 651 volt at 1000 watts per meter square irradiation so you can see the different power level for different irradiation okay so the it can generate maximum of 1 megawatt when that irradiation and temperature at a standard test condition that means irradiation at uh, 1000 watts per meter square at 25 degree celsius and then here uh, they are using boost convert so here uh, the boost converter used so here uh, the boost converter used to boost the voltage and then here the three level inverter and uh, that mean a neutral point clamped inverter used to for converting uh, dc to ac and this boost converter will be controlled by means of mppt algorithm so here you can see that so you have two kind of control so just you have to concentrate on that uh, mppt so here we are using MPPT algorithm. So here the here that MPPT algorithm used to here. So here you can see that this is a P into MPPT. Okay. So P into MPPT will receive uh, voltage and current. So based upon voltage and current, you have to calculate uh, uh, change in power, change in voltage, and then based upon change in power, change in voltage, you have, you have to calculate the duty cycle. Okay. So that will be happen in the P into MPPT and so output will be duty cycle okay so this output will be taken from that uh, here okay so it going to be control this uh, boost converter and then here you can see that that uh, pv inverter control so you have to measure point of common coupling voltage and uh, current uh, and then uh, deceiling voltage and then uh, reference voltage uh, that means reference voltage across the mean uh, what's the voltage should be maintained across this inverter okay so when you go inside right you can see that uh, different uh, detail right one is voltage regulator another, another one is PLL uh, that means uh, PLL and uh, power transformation so here we are converting uh, uh, that mean converting that actual ABC quantity into VDP quantity by using power transformation and then here we are using a voltage regulator it's an voltage regulator here we are comparing uh, rough, uh, that mean reference voltage and then uh, a deceiling voltage and it going to be processed via uh, PA controller and then uh, the final output of this voltage regulator is nothing but ID reference and then here we are using only ID reference control that mean we are uh, that means making IQ reference equal to 0 that means we are going to send only real power from the PV to a point of common coupling and here you can see here right after that 
so this will be given here idiq reference already we uh, converted that uh, iabc into idiq by using part transformation so then here here that uh, we are applying that to feed forward decoupling control concept so by applying the uh, feed forward decoupling control concept we are we are uh, using that uh, current regulator and feed forward decoupling control concept to con generate the vdvq so after generating vdvq we are going to convert it into actual form that means abc form by, by using inverse part transformation so finally you will get that uh, uh, we reference in the that in control voltage in the abc form and going to be uh, process via epidural generator so that going to be control this neutral point clamped inverter okay for converting dc to ac quantity and then uh, whatever power uh, generated from the pv so that going to be injected to the point of common coupling okay so this is a, a solar plant detail so next you have to see about a, a battery a plant so here so it have one megawatt uh, battery system and then it can supply maximum one megawatt hour okay so rating of the battery here you can see that 922 volt and then nominal capacity is around one mega um, one megawatt hour okay and then uh, soc of the battery initially is fixed at uh, 50. so next uh, here here that we have that uh, two level inverter okay so here we are not using any converter so just you have to use only that means that uh, battery is directly convert, uh, connected to the inverter so just you have to convert dc to ac or ac to dc according with the condition of uh, control logic okay so whether you go for charging or discharging or so based upon that that uh, converter can be act, act like the converter or uh, inverter okay and then finally it will be connected to the point of common coupling here so here you can see that control of inverter okay so this is a control of inverter based upon uh, active power control and reactive power control okay so next thing is uh, here you can see that this is a local load and then uh, so here it's the grid system so this point of common coupling voltage will be 600 volt and then it will be step up to 25 kilo volt and then it's connected to the uh, grid 120 kilo volt grid okay after that here also we are uh, stepping uh, stepping uh, step up the voltage from 25 kilo volt to 120 kilo volt and overall system will be operated at 60 hertz so here you can see that you can measure the like, point of coupling voltage as well as you can measure the frequency of operation here okay so so this is the overall system and then you can measure the the detail here that means you can measure the detail of point, point of common coupling power load power battery uh, power battery that means uh, power from the battery energy storage system after inverter and then power from the pv as well as uh, the reactive power from the battery side okay so here you can see that uh, detail and also you can see the uh, that uh, point of common coupling uh, current load current and uh, um, battery side uh, primary current and the pv side primary current here okay you can see that the results so here only we are uh, that means after uh, simulating the model you have to compare the result of this uh, pv power with the other mppt also okay so next time i'm going to discuss about uh, pso mppt so here i'm going inside right so here we are using uh, that PSO MBPT. Okay. So here you can see that uh, we are using uh, fuzzy structure. So the fuzzy structure we have uh, created based upon PSO tuned and fish concept. So input will be uh, irradiation and temperature. So output will be voltage and it will be compared with the PV voltage and again it will be processed with PA controller. So it will be generated the uh, duty cycle. Okay. So finally this duty cycle will be sent to that uh, boost converter to extract the maximum power from the TV panel so and also here we have that code so this is a TV model okay 
so this APV model so whatever model used in this right so you, you have to take that reading then you have to take the specifications here right so here you can see that we are taking 8.68 that means so here you can see that short circuit current current at maximum power point open circuit voltage voltage at maximum power point okay and also you have to take the detail of temperature coefficients and then you have to generate the random irradiation temperature data and then we have to collect the voltage okay so once you execute this one uh, and this code automatically execute the PSO and phase uh, training model so finally you will get the the fuzzy in front system so that uh, after training of this data by using PSO, so you will get an structure in the form of fuzzy infant system. So we have to use that uh, fuzzy infant system then save that to MPPT block. Okay, so this is a concept. So we are using that uh, PSO and phase. So we can uh, watch my my YouTube video. So already I made some video about uh, PSO and phase MPPT. So you can check that video also. We will get a clear idea about that. One. Okay, so here we. Um, use that model okay so here you can see this is a ps on this code so first you have to run this code after that it will be execute this code okay so inside you can see that uh, this will be a uh, train automatically okay so training process everything will be happen okay so next you can see that again yeah so here you can see this is a main code for a and this trade okay so pso used to cut and get the and this so after that finally we will get the final and this structure so this one the and this structure created from the that code right pso and this code so that detail will be used inside right so here you have to use that inside the detail after training process okay so next we move on with the, the PSO sliding mode control so here also we are changing the uh, MPPT method here here you can see that so here we are using PSO so the PSO will be generated the reference voltage okay so the reference voltage is going to be processed via sliding mode controller so this is sliding mode controller and the sliding mode controller will be generated the duty cycle and then the duty cycle will be controlled this boost converter okay so first we need to load the data once again So now I am going to simulate this one. So PSO and PS MBPT. I am simulating this PSO and PS MBPT. So here you will see the results. And also here you will see that uh, voltage at point of common coupling. Okay, and also here you can see that uh, frequency at the point of common coupling with PSO and PS MPPT. So it will take some time for completion. So we have to wait up to completion. So 
So now we can see that right simulation is this comes to end right for PS1 and PS MBPT. So this is a response we are getting from a PS1 and PS MBPT. So here you can see this is a response of PV system power generation. Okay. And then here you can see this is a load power. So this is point of common coupling power. So this is a a reactive power from the battery side in water and then uh, this is the power of battery side ok so this is for a and fish mbpt so next to move on to p and mbpt so here i'm going to execute that p and to mbpt so here i'm going to execute that p and to mbpt you can see the result here so now you can see that the simulation started for PM to MBPT So it will take some time to complete okay wait up to completion of simulation so now we can see that simulations come to almost come to end of the five seconds okay so this is the result with the p and o in the bit So next move on to the result with the PS oh, sorry and here we come PSO sliding mode MBPT so here I'm going to simulate this model So it's compiling the model so it will take some time to complete the simulation so simulation is not yet started so you have to wait some time now you can see that the simulation is started now okay so it will take some time to complete the simulation okay so now you can see the simulation is almost completed for a pso sliding mode mbpt so now I am going to compare the result of first you have to take the result of PSO and FIS and then I am going to take the result of PSO and FIS and then I am going to take the result of PO and BPT okay So this is a result of ANFIS, result of uh, PSO sliding mode MBPT, so result of PO MBPT. So here I am going to take a print to figure and then I am going to take only the PV detail and then I am going to create new figure and then I am going to paste here. Okay. So this is for Anfis, so I am going to change the color, color to red, ok, red indicate the result of Anfis, the same way I am going to click the result of PSO sliding mode, MBPT and print to figure and then I am going to click that PV result alone and copy that one and paste here. And then here I am going to click result of P and O MBPT print to figure and then I am going to copy this result so before copying the result I am going to change the color color to pink and copy that result and paste it here 
So now we can see the result of P and do and fees and PSO, PSO and fees and PSO sliding mode are MBPT. So from that result you can see that, uh, uh, that PSO MBPT uh, will that means that uh, they are providing the better results. So here you can see that so PO science is providing the uh, better tracking in MBPT. Okay. And also here you can see here, right? So here also you see here that uh, P and MBPT will take a uh, long time, right? They have some problem in their tracking. So PSO and QS is providing better result. Okay. So from this result analysis, right? So we can conclude that the PSO and QS MBPT are providing the better result than PSO sliding mode and uh, into MPPT. So, thanks for watching our videos. Uh, kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.